Sportsmen and entertainers opened their hands, closed their eyes and took Kruger round. Under apartheid, there was black and white and 14 types of colour. And in order to be seen correct, the authorities could the 14 reject and the 15 select. Like Mendel with his peas, recessive genes caused the sight of a slight change in colour of children previously white. Sometimes the authorities couldn't be sure if a child was pure, so inspectors went into the schools, followed the rules, and placed the pencil in the child's hair, and the child's colour would rest on the pencil test. When the head was shook, there was a look of relief, physical and mental. When the pencil fell to the floor, the child was white. When the hair was crinkly and thick, the pencil was passed like a stick through the hair from front to back, and if it stalled, the verdict called was black. What the parents were hardly mattered, the child was reclassified, and the family scattered to a new area to search for a new school, a new church, and also there were kids left alone and bereft. Political apartheid has ended, but our South Africa is not mended. Black, white and coloured still live apart. A new start is needed to end the pain and finally end apartheid's reign. As you may guess, I have lived in South Africa for some time working in townships. This one's called Requiem for the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> the Tories and the Quacks hated Nye Bevan, but he created the NHS for everyone, rich or poor, and free at the point of delivery. The NHS, beloved by the nation, has reached its final destination. Pensioned off at 65, privatised under the guise of contracting out. All the parts, the entrails too, disemboweled and devoured by an insatiable greed needed to feed the financial contagion that is banks, merchant banks, investment banks, shadow banks, hedge funds, vulture funds, and the whole stinking edifice of PFI, the private finance initiative. Soon this will all be cast in stone for the new EU, US Free Trade Treaty, legalises financial liberalisation and regulatory harmonisation, which in proper parlance means the tax avoiding, bonus addicting, thieving psychopaths <laughs> can legally plunder and wreck asunder the NHS for billions each and every year. New Labour is like the Tories, part of the yeah. political class, the elite, the establishment, and but Bevin would find this surreal and absurd for in Shelley's words, ye are many, they are few. And now is the time for the 99% to say they withdraw their consent. Enough is enough. Now is the time to say, stop, fight, save the NHS. Yeah.